the sport relief plunge. It's Chelsea and Pasha. Here they are in training. So I'll come second instead of come dancing and it'd be amazing to come home with the trophy this time. And we're here taking our first steps in underwater dancing. I'm dreading coming in there. Dreading it. Don't like going underwater, I won't go in the eye. No, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm freaking out a little now. I'm trying to work my breathing out. I'm so used to breathing through my nose, so it's weird getting used to having to do through your mouth. I think we're going through the hardest stage at this moment because the main thing is for us to get comfortable being underwater. <coughs> Feels unnatural. I sometimes panic when I've been down there. It's so uncomfortable in, and scary in a way to be underwater in a completely different environment. I knew it was going to be hard and it is hard for me. I'm so proud of Chelsea. Dancing Underwater, Chelsea Healy and Pasha Kovalev. Stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea. She's there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on high, then straight to her. being down there but once once you're down then you feel that, that your breathing's going okay then yeah it's it's amazing feeling I loved it this oh, time. Did, brilliantly. did you enjoy it? Michelle? Absolutely everything went the way we planned yeah. and it's such a great feeling of freedom when you dance there. Yeah was it? I, yeah and I can do the splits down there and I can't on dry land. So, <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> routine. Let's go to our judges let's start with our guest judge Mark how do you think these guys cope because they had tables and chairs and champagne glasses and everything. I think the thing is, like, beginning of the, we were talking, I, I hadn't seen any rehearsals, but Chelsea was having problems getting underneath the water at the beginning. So to overcome that, I thought you might clam up, but you really were a starfish. I've got to say, you were absolutely fantastic. You did a lot more movement than Harry, so I think you did, you were amazing. Well done, sweetheart. Oh, well done. Bruno. Chelsea, you delicious and curvaceous little mermaid, enticing the seamen into your underwater kingdom. In fact, there was a moment when you swam over and under, reaching for the camera. It was pure Esther Williams. Oh. It was great, my darling. Fantastic job. That's the best compliment ever. You did absolutely fantastically. Okay, Mr. No Longer Grumpy and Just Full of Joy, Craig Revel Horwood. 
Sorry to disappoint, darling, but I thought the transitions were slightly fishy. Yeah. They were just a little bit um, complex, I think. It was m looked a little bit more like a shark attack and a feeding oh. frenzy down Ooh. there. But, no. but, my darling, no. you did a million and one steps. You kept in character the whole way through. I absolutely love the use of props. Tables, chairs, champagne glasses underwater, absolute heaven, full of drama. I'd say water, heaven, darling, gorgeous. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Craig. And finally, head judge, oh, Lynn. Oh, Chelsea, my little water baby. I tell you, <laughs> what, whatever anyone gives to sport relief, you've given more because I know you were petrified and yet you've come out and done it. And I think that was amazing. You did an absolutely fantastic job and it was very, very well done. Yes. Yeah. Well done, sweetheart, well done. Now, before we get the scores, let's welcome back Harry and Aliona. <laughs> Harry, you, of course, scored 35. We're going to find out what, Chelsea, you've scored. I'd say if it's a tie, then the king, otherwise known as head judge, Len Goodman, will decide who lifts the trophy. Good luck. Will the judges please reveal their scores? Mark Foster. Nine. Bruno Tanyola. Ten. Craig Revel Hall. Eight. Len Goodman. Eight. It's a tie! It's a tie! Let's go uh, to Len. This is yes. serious. Somebody does win a very beautiful Sport Relief Strictly Come Dancing Underwater trophy. Who would you like to see win? Well, I, I tied both of you. I, I gave you both an eight because firstly I thought Harry's uh, the actual dance was beautiful and I loved the movement of it. However, I must say that I felt that as a, a dance from a celebrity underwater, Chelsea did a little bit more dancing. You mainly partnered, Chelsea mainly danced. So my decision is for you, Chelsea and Pasha. Yeah. Are you happy? Um, yeah, I feel stupid, but I'm made up. Thank you. <laughs> stupid and made up is good. Patrick, congratulations. Are you delighted? Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, I mean, it was an incredible experience for both uh, couples, and I think we're both winners today. Oh, yes. okay. You absolutely are. you very happy for them? Oh, absolutely delighted. Yeah. Obviously, it's uh, an amazing thing to be part of, and Chelsea did incredibly well in overcoming all her fears, and it's an amazing thing to be part of Sport Relief, so thanks to everyone for this opportunity. Okay, thank you so much, Harry. So we have a winner. Please raise the roof for our Sport Relief Strictly Come Dancing Underwater Champion, Chelsea Healy!